So, um, just from a medical standpoint, what's the? Is there any research that you have, or any 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 data that you can point to that says that this is actually good for your health? Why why not just look at pictures of calming scenes, or why not just go hang out by the beach or in the woods, or go for a hike? You know, why? What 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 are you? What do you have that establishes the connection VR, between? But the VR and the health benefits. Right, um, so yes, there's plenty of data. There's over 200 published studies in top tier journals about, about VR and pain, um, and lots of, of applications for different kinds of, of conditions. Um, of course, going to walk in the woods is a great idea, but uh, virtual environments can be manipulated and they also give you data and feedback about what's happening in, in your body and with you. And so uh, in a clinical situation, that can be really effective. And then for taking people uh, who are re doing rehab at home, we can help them get back and get mobile and, and, and enable them to go for their walk in the woods. And from a business standpoint, I, I know, by the way, just so we're clear, we didn't ask people to have real you know, sustainable business models before we brought them up to present. We were just looking for really cool technology and really cool demos. But I'm curious, do you have a business model right now? Or? Yes. Yeah. Yes, uh, we are selling uh, applications to uh, hospitals and clinics. And we're in uh, pilots, we're uh, in the process of pilots with large health systems, um, uh, three of them. And those include uh, palliative care, uh, different kinds of uh, And what is it that makes you guys special? I mean, Anybody can develop a 3D VR application that's soothing to the mind. Or do you guys have feedback loop, um, you know, data? I, I'm just, how do, you, how do you protect what you're doing as a business? Um, our AI engine gives us protectable IP. And that will be the engine that, that drives these applications in the future. And so, uh, yes, it, 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 we are doing way more than just building one-off applications. Do you have a question? Um, when you say the AI engine, so how are you getting data into the AI engine? Excuse me? How are you getting data into the AI engine? Like what is, how does it, it customize itself to the needs of individual patients? So the data uh, comes from biosensors and then also we can monitor user activity. And we, uh, the uh, clinician is also an input source. So we take all of these data, uh, these data sources, these inputs, and we make decisions and apply strategies based on that. Thank you so much. We're not, I'm going to have to stop you just because we're a little short on thank time. You. But thank you. Great presentation.